designer for hundreds of dollars to make that? No. Did I spend hours and hours trying to make it myself? No. No. I just spent five minutes, used two apps and one iPad. That's all. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that as well. So let's do it. I'd be lost without Canva. First, let's change the resolution to 3840 by 2160 because that's the highest resolution for YouTube videos. There are so many templates you can choose from, but as I already know what I want to go for, I'll just start with a blank canvas, pick a bright pink color as my background, and then I will just start playing around with some text and fonts. It's time to add some interesting elements. Again, there are thousands of designs to choose from. I like this line art frame element thing and just adjusted the transparency a tad bit. I added my cover artwork in the background. No, oh, in the foreground. It's really neat. You can choose which elements are in the background and in the foreground so they don't clash. Then I also added some moving dots for some eye candy. You know I'm all about ear candy. And now we needed to add some eye candy as well. <laughs> I felt like something was missing, so I added this drawing of a hand behind the face and I really like it. So for the second page, it's not really a frame is it, so let's call it a page, I stuck with this drawing theme and added this drawing of a person. And I mean, I love it, it just embodies the whole song. Then I finally added the release date, zoomed in really close to get the shadowing of the text right because I'm that much of a control freak, and then I moved on to the last page. This is the CTA or call to action part of the clip. I stuck with the title of the song, added two other types of line frame things, and once they were aligned the way I wanted them to align, I added some streaming icons. So Spotify, iTunes, Deezer and YouTube. You can use Canva on basically any device. You don't have to have an iPad to do that. You can also use it on your computer, on your iMac, MacBook, even on your iPhone. But for this one in particular, I used the iPad because it's easier to work on the details than on my Mac. So yeah, but you can use whatever you want to. And now my favorite part, the animation. This is one of Canva's newer functions and it changed my entire editing game. Again, so many options to choose from, but Neon works best for my branding. And now it pops in and out, in and out. <laughs> so much fun. And voila! Let's look at the final clip without the audio, of course. Me seems happy, <laughs> so we can move on. Let's save the clip and move on to the second app, InShot. InShot is my other all-time favorite app. I've been using it for years on my iPhone to edit all sorts of things because it's just so easy and quick to use. Insert the clip and again, change the resolution. So for this one, duh, I chose YouTube. And then we need the song. You can just click import music and select your song. We don't need the entire track, so I clipped the end off and selected fade in and fade out so it's easier on the ears. And then comes the most tedious part, matching the clip to the beat of the song. I used a combination of cutting the clips and speeding or slowing down the parts, but this will depend on your particular song, so... The interface is really easy to understand, it's really fun when you can like actually do it with your hands on the screen. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> well then. Check back and forth if the clip matches up the way you want it to with a song, and once it does, voila! You can save it and you're done! And here's my little happy dance for you! That was pretty easy, wasn't it? I know. Was this video helpful for you? If so, 
don't forget to smash that like button for me because if you didn't already, that truly helps me a lot. So thank you so much. <laughs> As always, if you've got any questions, suggestions or simply words of kindness, don't forget to leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to chat with you. Subscribe, notification bell and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! And a week out of tune, where do we go?